Good evening. Yes, it's good evening instead of good morning. You join me back at Scarborough and I'm grinning like a Cheshire cat because the tide is doing exactly what I want it to do. Which is absolutely fabulous because I've come back here to get two specific images. What I don't quite know is how I'm going to manage to get the images because the water is coming well over the seawall. We are, what time are we? We are at quarter to five. High tide is half past five. Sunset is quarter past six. Now when I came last time, it really was a recce trip. The images I got were just a bonus. I was reccying to see if I could get these particular images. And by golly I can, but I think I might get wet in the process. Hey ho, I've been looking for um, suitable times to do a return visit where we had either sunrise and high tide and it has to be a very high tide or sunset and this is perfect. I can see the first image that I want, the second image that I want I can see the water doing its thing. My god I'm going to get wet, I should have put my waterproof coat on. We're at about seven and a half degrees, so it's a little bit of a chill. We're actually more sheltered than I expected because the wind should be coming in that way towards me. I can feel it slightly. <sighs> oh, I'm really excited. I won't be by the time I'm drowned. And I've not brought any spare trousers with me, which was a bit of a stupid move. I should have put my waders on. Hey ho, it's only water in it. Can only get wet once. Now, those clouds look quite promising. I don't know if you can see from here. But to the other side of the great big oofing hill that I'm walking down, there is a huge bank of cloud. So I'm not banking on getting any form of sunset colour. If we do, there's a couple of options. Wee! Slippy bit. Woohoo! Slippy bit. First thing I've got to do is see if I can get to where I want to be without getting drowned. That's going to be interesting because it looks like they put a poxy gate on where I want to be. Right, I'm going to put you away because we're in danger of getting ever so wet and I'll catch up with you when I get lined up to do my first image. See you in a bit. What a rush. As I walked down the hill, it suddenly dawned on me that I wasn't going to be able to get to where I needed to be because the tide was so high. So I walked all the way back up the hill, jumped in Maddie and took her back down. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get where I want to be. Oh, this is annoying. No, I can see where I want to be, but I just can't get there. And I don't risk walking. Flip. Oh, this is a swine. I don't risk walking along there because I'm just going to get swept out to sea. Oh, bugger. Now, let me see if I can get through here. So it looks like people have. I'm just going to pop you down for a second. Right, I've got to the first place that I want to be. I'm not exactly where I need to be, but I can see the image that I want from here. Um, I've had to scoot along the back, which I'm sure is really not the thing to do, but hey ho. The thing that caught my eye when I came here last are these three squares with the water running around them. Now I'm stood <laughs> precariously on a derelict building, which I'm hoping isn't going to collapse. We are getting spray, but it's not too bad. The water's coming over, but I'm not got long, so I'm going to pop you down for a second and get set up, see if I can compose this image as I want it.
position set up exactly as I wanted it. There is a minute bit of cropping to be done, but only a minute bit. In fact, no, there's not. Oh, there is, just across the top. We're all fully focused. I'm shooting at F14. My last image was 63.9 seconds, and I've varied the, the um, exposures. I've got a 25 second, I've got a 65, and I've got a 63 because the tide is starting to go out. On the front of the camera, we have the six stop and the polarizer to reduce the glare. Oh, right, come on, shoot, that's it. Oh, I cannot tell you how happy I am. Oh God. After the disaster that I had this morning, I just can't tell you how happy I am. This morning I went to Mantor, there was a vicious rumour that we were going to have an inversion. No. <laughs> it was just really low cloud level, thick, heavy fog, but only on the top of Mantor. Down in the valleys there was a little bit of mist, but nothing that I could do anything with. I went to the woods to see what was there, but I couldn't do anything. Let me just see what that's doing. That's better. 71.2 seconds. Yes. And the way I've positioned this image, actually that's just, nah, I just need to tweak that a little bit. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. It's just getting that bit in, which I don't want. So let me just fiddle around here and tweak that down a bit. That might do. To say there is a little bit, a little bit of cropping to do, but not a huge amount. I made sure we were in focus before I put the filters on. This line here and that line there, you've got one, two, three, four squares. And I'm getting the waves coming over. This is coming out bottom left hand corner. That's got a little bit of space above it, but I'll crop that I think because I'd like it bottom left and top right if I can possibly do it. Oh. Yay! Well, I'm still here in the same spot. I've swapped the six stop out. The six stop was giving me lots of white. And I wasn't convinced that I wanted lots of white because it's quite foamy down there. So I banged the ten stop on. I've altered the composition very slightly. And I'm just letting it cook. It was at about 100 seconds. I might do a little bit of cloning. I don't know if you'll be able to see down there. There's a sign on one of those blocks. Oh, probably seen far too much there. But I might have a go and see if my Photoshop skills will let me clone that out, because I don't like it. What a fabulous place! Oh, wild and wicked. I'd love to be down here. You can see in the distance where the curve goes around the water coming out of those chutes. But it's, whee, it's just too dangerous down there for me. The images with a more white water, so with the six stop, I'll probably turn those really high key. They're not overexposed as it stands, but I might just tweak the exposure slightly. Slightly more control over it when you're in post. The ten stop ones, I want to be a bit more darker and moodier. Sort of a nighttime shot. And I'm itching, because we're at about 100 seconds, and I'm itching to turn it off. And I'm not going to, I'm going to behave. Oh. Oh, it's a proper buzz, this. It really is. And that's what photography is all about. Having a flipping good time.
front to where I want to take the second shot. The tide is still coming in tremendously and I can see me ending up on my backside and the camera end up in the water and I'm not prepared to risk that. Frustrating. I was thinking it was going to be a long lens shot anyway, but even down the far end, I can't stand there because the water is coming up too high. I have seen one possibility back where I just was that might just do the trick. So I'm going to walk back down there. I'm determined to get my 10,000 steps in today. Yeah, it's really... I don't know. Again, maybe if I was here with people, I might be a bit braver, but having looked at that, just breaking over the wall, no, I wouldn't be. <laughs> no, there's stupidity, and then there's downright recklessness, and this comes under the heading of recklessness, and I'm, like I say, I'm not going to risk that. So I'm going to head off back down this way. Probably, yeah, I'm probably managed with a 17 to 55, but I might end up putting the bigger lens on to get the little image that I want before we completely lose the, the light. I only want a 30 second exposure, so I'm thinking I won't need any filters at all now. Oh, but I've got, the, I've got one of the two images that I came for, so I am so happy, yay! I'd jump up and down if I had the energy. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'll catch you when I'm back down there. Now I am fighting a losing battle against the light. You may or may not be able to see me. I've settled on this little curve here. Come down here, you might be able to see. And there. With the water running back through those little tunnels, I've got the camera as low down as I can get it on the tripod. Ideally, I want it to be down at water's level sort of level with the water but there's no way on God's green earth I'm going to manage to do that. I've still got the polarizer on and I've put the six stop on because I wasn't getting a long enough exposure. I could only get 15 seconds and that really wasn't cutting the mustard for me. But now the ambient light's dropping. I think I'm going to have to take the polarizer and the six stop off and just go with it. We should get about 30 seconds fairly soon. And the water is just a little bit too high for around here, I think. It's gushing in. I've got the ISO to 320 to try and compensate. Let's have a look, see where we're up to. That's better. It's going to be a little bit of cropping because I can't compose exactly as I want it being higher up. So I'm going to crop a little bit off. Right, that was, how many seconds was that? That was 113 seconds, so that's too long. Right, I'm going to fiddle with some filters. And I might come back to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I mention I was giddy? I just did an entire piece to camera and I was still in the pitch black so you couldn't see me so I'm having to redo it. I'm wrapping it up. Ooh, we are at seven o'clock. High tide was half past five and it's showing no signs of actually going anywhere. It still seems to be coming in. I know we get slack water but this is ridiculous. I'm just about to go into the dark again. So anyway I was saying beforehand before I realized that um you couldn't actually see me very much like now to be fair let's see if we can find some light around here oh i am so happy so so happy the best shoot i've had in a while oh look there you go a little bit of light <sighs> so thank you for coming along i'm sorry it's been a bit bitty but hey muppet here parks in the wrong place completely which didn't help the cause and it's that wild out there. I couldn't really do a huge amount of B-roll. <sighs> but mission accomplished. The two images that I wanted to make, I've made. And I'm one happy chicken. I can go to work tomorrow with a smile on my face. Yay!
Yay! Right, so now it's home time. A couple of hours home. Oh, I think I might have to stop at a Mackie D's to get some tea. It's going to be too late when I get in to actually cook anything. So thank you very much for coming along. Hope you have a fabulous week. And I shall see you next Sunday. Bye for now.